We often hear about how video games are the root of all evil and how violent acts carried out in the real world are because of violent video games, even though there's obviously other violent forms of entertainment out there. TV shows, movies, books, graphic novels, plays, etc. that never get the blame for anything that happens in the real world. But there is health issues that can occur if you find yourself sitting down playing video games all day, every day, countless hours of nonstop gaming without doing anything else like, you know, the basic, uh, activities of getting up, going for a walk and some, you know, routine, basic cardio, physical exercise that we all need in order to keep going and be healthy. There's an article I'm going to talk about from Sky News, link below in the description section. Feel free and check it out. I'm just going to go over the cliff notes. Basically, it's about a study being done regarding how gaming can kill children with undiagnosed heart issues, according to scientists. COD style multiplayer war games like COD, Battlefront, Overwatch, Fortnite, you know, games like that, for example are the most frequent cause of blackouts, which is the first sign of a dangerous condition that most likely is heart-related. And apparently, some gamers have actually died from these conditions that go undiagnosed. So if you have a kid, or if you yourself are a teenager, or a tween, or even an adult that has had blackouts and other issues while sitting there playing a video game, you might want to go see a doctor about that issue, as well as perhaps consider getting some basic exercise in every day. Children with heart conditions are at risk from playing competitive sports, but they're apparently also at risk from playing the quote-unquote safe activities like video games specifically the, the COD-like multiplayer war games. Cardiac incidents can occur when patients are in excited states, whether it's a major win or a loss, or they're engaging in conflict with uh, their companions. Now, one of the individuals interviewed in this article from Sky News, Dr. John Skinner, who's looked after children with heart rhythm problems for over 25 years, stated that he's staggered to see how widespread this is. A number of children have even died from it. So they're now recommending that anyone that goes into esports should also be screened the same way as somebody going into traditional sports. Now, unfortunately, there's some people that have health issues which prevent them from participating in more competitive sports out there like soccer, football, basketball, baseball, etc. However, I think most people that are able-bodied that can walk and get up and move around their uh, house, their home, their room, their community, their town are capable of putting down the controller or the mouse and keyboard and going outside or getting on a treadmill and getting some basic routine exercise that is much needed for all of us. So I think the major issue here from what I'm reading out of this article is a lot of the people affected. And I don't think this happens just to children. Obviously, there's uh, adults that have serious health issues as well. Obesity is obviously a serious problem. And I'm fairly certain that, unfortunately, a lot of gamers have probably also died of cardiac issues that were undiagnosed from long hours of sitting there on their butts, playing video games, and not really doing much else. We're all guilty of it because we're all gamers. And most of the time when you're gaming, what are you doing? You're sitting there in front of a monitor or TV screen with your controller, your mouse and keyboard, playing whether it's a single player game or multiplayer game for hours on end, wondering where the time has passed. But unfortunately, we weren't meant to sit down for extended long periods of time. It's compounded by the fact that a lot of people are already sitting, whether it's at school or at work. So you spend hours sitting at school and work, and then you come home, and then you sit for more hours playing a video game. That is not good for your body or your long-term health. 
So yeah, maybe you can't go into competitive sports, but there is less competitive sporting activities you could do in order to improve your health, lose weight, and ensure that you don't end up dying because of a cardiac arrest, a heart issue, or something else entirely from an early age. Early as in tween, teen, even adults, you know, from uh, the 20s, 30s, even 40s, that's still considered to be relatively young because the human lifespan can go all the way up to 80s and 90s now, thanks to the advances of health and science. But if you have experienced some sort of health issue, shortness of breath, blackouts while you're gaming, doesn't matter if it's a multiplayer game like they mentioned in this guy news article or even a single player game, you might want to talk to somebody about that and get looked at as soon as possible because it could be a more serious issue that you're going to have to deal with. And I think that a lot of people have suffered serious like weight issues, heart issues, circulation problems, because we tend to spend a lot of our time this day and age in the 21st century sitting, whether it's work, school, or gaming. And doing a little bit of physical activity can go a long ways towards helping you lose weight and improve your overall health, especially when it comes to paying attention to what you're consuming, your diet. Are you drinking too much soda or too much alcohol? Do you need to drink more water instead? Maybe we're eating too much pizza, burgers, fries, or chips as they call it over in the UK. Whatever the case may be, there's obviously a growing health issue revolved around gaming, which affects us all. Whether you're an adult or you are a teenager or a tween, your health is vital to your survival, to ensuring that you have a long, upstanding, happy life. And we all have to do our part to take personal responsibility in order to ensure that we do make it past our tweens, our teens, and our adulthood and live as long as we're meant to be on this beautiful planet. While I thoroughly enjoy gaming, it's great escapism, it's fun, it is, in my opinion, a mental punching bag whenever you've had a rough day at school or work or just life in general. It's great to also hang out with uh, friends, playing multiplayer games with them, but there is more to life than just gaming. And there's also other activities we can be doing besides gaming. It doesn't have to be the only thing you do hobby-wise. Even if you can't do the competitive sports that they talked about in the Sky News article, there is other activities you most likely could do that would be okay for your health and in fact be beneficial for you. Even if it's just going for a lovely walk down the street or in a nearby park, as long as it's you know nice park in a decent neighborhood that's not too sus. But even those of us that don't have those kind of issues that would prevent us from doing competitive sports, most of us do have the ability to go into a little bit more exercises, you know, like uh, going to the gym, doing uh, upper body, lower body work like I do two or three days a week, along with walking at least a mile a day, which is about 20 minutes. There's bowling. You can go shoot some hoops if you're into basketball, go kick a football or soccer ball, depending on which part of the world you happen to be in. Go outside and, and toss an American football or you know, toss a baseball back and forth as long as you have you know the proper you know equipment and baseball gloves to catch the ball. And if you're capable of doing more than simply walking, then go hiking or go jogging or do some long distance running if you're into that sort of thing. But if you do think that you might be suffering from some sort of issue, especially when you spend hours gaming or even sitting at school or at work, you might want to go get looked at just in case. And if you do feel like you need to do more than simply sit around playing video games all day, then maybe that's your subconscious telling you that it's time to get off your butt and find some more things to do of your life besides gaming. Yeah, it's a fun activity to do, and there's nothing stopping you from continuing to play video games here and there, but it might just be beneficial for you to add more hobbies and activities into your daily routine, whatever it is you happen to be into besides gaming. 
and taking a hard look at what you're consuming when it comes to uh, beverages as well as food on a regular basis might not be a bad idea either. You don't have to become some sort of health freak, but you know, taking a few of the bad things out of your diet and replacing them with a little bit healthier alternatives like more protein, more fiber, and other things that have vitamins and essential minerals that we need to get by on a daily basis, along with the required amount of uh, fresh water that we consume every day might just help you in the long run when it comes to your health. Besides gaming, what are some activities that you do on a regular basis, whether it's daily or weekly, in order to help with your physical, mental, psychological health? Feel free and let us know below in the comments section.